Does intermittent fasting work for women? Well, that's exactly what we are gonna be finding out today. I'm Holly Delkey and I help thousands of women become totally confident in their bodies and their minds. And if you wanna know the best nutrition and training program, then don't forget to check out the link below after this video. So what is intermittent fasting? I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it or seen it online recently. Well, intermittent fasting is basically not eating food for prolonged periods of time. And there are different ways to do a fast, such as meal skipping, alternate day fasting, as well as fasting times. The reasons we have seen so much hype around intermittent fasting is because there's evidence that suggests it might help regulate blood glucose, manage your body weight, reduce the risk of cancer, and much more. And while some women who try intermittent fasting say it's amazing, others report serious problems like binge eating, metabolic disruptions, loss of periods, and early onset menopause. This has happened to women as young as in their mid 20s. So why is that? Well, it's because our hormones that regulate key functions like ovulations are incredibly sensitive to energy intake. And our hormones can be thrown off when we do things like fasting in the wrong way. A study that's been conducted has only been on rats and not humans. But when we take a look at this study, we can see that fasting female rats lost 19% of their body weight. The blood glucose levels went down and their ovaries shrunk. The experiments affected the female hormones so much more significantly than the males. And it only took 10 to 15 days of the experiment to disrupt the female reproductive cycle, which is interesting, right? Comment yes below. So even though we need to take note that this experiment was on rats, it does show that there is a difference between men and women, which we all knew anyway. But based on what we know from this study, intermittent fasting probably affects the reproductive health if the body sees it as a significant stressor because our hormones are highly sensitive. And when intermittent fasting protocols vary, being much more extreme than others, with longer fast and lower calories, which can be significant stressor on women's hormones. So does it work? Well, intermittent fasting, you have to include different factors such as your age, nutritional status, the length of time you're fasting, and other stresses that are in your life. My advice to you is if you wanted to give intermittent fasting a try, would be to begin with a gentle protocol and pay attention to how things are going. Speak with your healthcare provider beforehand and see if this is something that is good for you. When you do a fast, you have to be sure that the body does not see it as a significant stressor. Make sure to still eat all your calories within your time frame. If you're say skipping breakfast, you must make sure that you make up for your calories with lunch, dinner and snacks. To me, this is where I see most of the issues arise, when we do not consume all of our calories. And you decide to give it a go, please stop intermittent fasting if you notice any of the symptoms such as. Number one, your menstrual cycle stops or becomes irregular. Number two, you have problems falling asleep or staying asleep. Number three, your hair begins to fall out. Number four, you start developing dry skin or acne. Number five, you're noticing you don't recover from your workouts as easily as before. Number six, your mood starts swinging. Number seven, your digestion slows down noticeably. Number eight, you always seem to feel cold. See, fasting is not for everyone. Yes, it can bring some great health benefits as mentioned previously. And I do think that when it's done properly, and you're actually consuming the right amount of calories for your body, it can be beneficial. I personally do not practice intermittent fasting anymore, and I do think you can still achieve the amazing benefits of intermittent fasting in other ways. Eat whole foods, exercise regularly, stay consistent. And if you'd like some help, then check out the quiz below to see what your calories are for your body and the best training and nutrition program for you. Remember, all of our bodies have different needs. Listen to your body and do what works best for you. So if you like this video on intermittent fasting, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Just click on the button below. And if you wanna know the best training and nutrition program for you, 
then check out the quiz below. Now, I wanna hear from you guys. Do you practice intermittent fasting? Let me know in the comments below. Oh,